Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have this um, exponential equation on the board. It's actually an Olympia type uh, exponential problem. Um, I'm going to look at, there are actually two uh, different methods or two ways to solve this. Uh, I used one of the methods in the previous video I did to solve a question that is very similar to this. And today I'm going to use another method to solve this uh, challenge. Okay, so let's uh, get to the board and see how we solve this uh, problem. So the first thing uh, is to bring down the question by saying solution. So I have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equal to 8 to the power of x. So um, in, my, in that video I talked about, which I have pinned up here, and you can take time out to look at that question. So what I did was to divide each term by the one on the right hand side, okay? But looking at this question now, you can see that this is base two, base four, base eight. They all have a, a common base, and the common base is two. So what that means is that I'm going to write both four and eight in base two. So here I have two to the power of x plus, 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 3 or 2 to the power of x. Okay, now I'm going to apply this rule here that uh, if a to the power of m or to the power of n, which we have this, this can also be written as a to the power of n or to the power of n. So what I've just done is to switch places for m and n. So applying applying this to the this term and that term, I'm going to have the equation to be reduced to 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x or to the power of 2 equal to 2 to the power of x or to the power of 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to use substitution, I can say let m equal to 2 to the power of x. So I'm using this substitution and so this equation becomes m plus m squared equal to m cubed. So this is what we have. And then from here, I can rewrite this to give me m cubed minus m squared minus m equal to zero. Okay. And the uh, first is, um, this is a cubic expression or equation, and we can see that m is common to all terms. So what do I need to do? I'll just simply factorize m. And then I have m squared minus m minus one equal to zero. And so by virtue of the, uh, Product, zero product law that if the product of two numbers is zero, so what it means is that a will be zero or b is zero. So if we apply this rule here, I'm going to we are going to have it that we are going to have it that m equal to zero or m squared minus m minus one equal to zero. So we already have one value of n to be zero. So now we are going to solve for uh, the second um, uh, factor, uh, which is in this case a quadratic factor. So I bring down this m squared minus m minus one equal to zero. So looking at this, we uh, we can notice that this quadratic equation is not factorizable. How do we know? So know if a quadratic equation is factorizable, I can find what is known as the discriminant delta. The discriminant of this is given as b squared minus 4ac. Now, if this is equal to 0, then the quadratic equation has linear factor. Not only that, if delta 
is also equal to a perfect square equals to a perfect square. Then it means that this equation also has linear factors. Now let us see, find to see which of these two conditions has been satisfied in this equation. So uh, what I'm going to do is to come back here on the left side of the board and find the value of b squared uh, find the value of delta equals to b squared minus 4ac where a in this equation will be 1 b will be equal to minus 1 and c will be equal to minus 1 as well so let's find the value of this so delta will be minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 this will give us 1 uh, plus 4 and that will give us 5 now you can see 5 is not a perfect square therefore this quadratic equation does not have linear factors so how do we find the roots or find the solution for n so we use the quadratic formula which in this case so from the quadratic formula which we all know as uh, for quadratic formula that will be m equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay so what we need to do now is to find the value of m already we know that the, the term under the square root sign is actually this, which is equal to 5. And therefore, we have m equal to minus, b, uh, minus 1, okay, since a, uh, b is minus 1, minus, minus 1, plus or minus square root of 5, all over 2 times 1. So, m is going to give us 1 plus or minus square root of 5 all over 2. So this will give us two different uh, solutions. So let's look at the two different solutions for m that I mean for the quadratic equation. So we have that. So now uh, we have that m equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or m equal to 1 minus root 5 root 5 all over 2. So, the solution for m, there are three solutions for m now. Therefore, we can say that m equal to 0 or m equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or m equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. So, these are the values of m. But we shouldn't forget, we should recall that we have said that 2 uh, we have said that m should represent 2 to the power of x. Now, for this particular equation to be true, for this to be true, m must be equal to, uh, for this to be true, 2 to the power of x must be greater than 0. Yes. For this equation to be true, 2 to the power of x must be greater than 0. And so, if we look at these three different solutions, we can see that m, uh, 2 to the power of x cannot be equal to 0 because obviously that will make it not, there will be no solution for that. And then if we also look at this, this is less than 0. Okay, this is less than 0. This is equal to 0. This is less than 0. So, these two solutions, m equal to 0 and m equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2 are not, uh, uh, will be rejected, or, or let, me, let me say, uh, not solutions to this, what I mean, uh, index uh, equation, to this exponential equation. So, for that case, that leaves us with just uh, one solution for m, which is m equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. 
So therefore, we can say that since suit above x must be greater than zero, that leaves us with suit to the power of x equal to one plus root five all over two. So how do we solve this particular problem? So we come over here and see how we solve that. Okay. So now, if we, from here we have 2 to the power of x equal to um, 1 plus root 5 all over 2. So what we need to do is to use log to be step. We take log, take log of both sides, take log to be ten of both sides. And therefore we have log 2 to the power of x to be 10 equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 uh, to be 10. And then we apply this law that if we have log p to the power of n base a, this will give us the n become the coefficient of the log and then we have p to base a. So here, p is standing for 2, a is standing for base 10, and then of course the n is the x. So if we apply this law to the left-hand side of our equation, we are going to get x makes that transition to become a coefficient of the log, and then you have log 2 base 10 equal to log 1 plus root 5 all over 2. 10. Okay, so what we need to do is I'm going to go ahead and evaluate what we have at the uh, numerator, okay, of this side. So we have x log 2 base 10 equal to, so um, so we have um, this to give us 1 plus square root of 5 is 2.236 is 10 everything divided by 2 so i'm going to move over to this side okay i move over to this side so that i have um, so once this uh this is added up we're going to have log 3.236 so we have x log 2 base 10 equal to log 3.236 all over 2 all over 2 is 10. So what we need to do is to divide both sides by log 2 is 10 divide this by log 2 is 10. So what we have, so we have um, x equal to log I'm going to split that numerator to log 3.236 base 10 minus minus log 2 base 10 all over log 2 base 10. So I have x equal to, so what would be the value of log 3, uh, let me check that up please. Um, log 3.236 log 3.236 this will give me 0 0.510 so I have 0 0.510 minus log 2 is 0 0.301 all over 0 0.301 Okay, so let's find the difference. Let me find the difference. We have um, 0 0.510 minus 0 0.301. That will be 0 0.209 all over 0 0.301. So divided by Point 
divided by 0.301. So the answer to x will be the answer to x will be 0 0.694. So that would be the value of x. So guys, there you have it. If we have this, um, the value of x will be 0 0.694. Four. So guys, there you have it. Please watch, learn, subscribe, share my video and of course give me your comment. I see you in my next video.